Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days, today's broadcast. In memory of Leonid Asgaldian, Homeland, the official newspaper of the Republic of Western Armenia, motions were devined on the condemnation of the Turkish president's statement about the genocide against Armenians. The paintings of the Jensim on genocide were presented at the newly opened gallery of the Genocide Against Armenians Museum Institute. Second torch lit in Horvira for the 7th Pan Armenian Games, the Granagert as the center of Sari culture in Western Armenia. Dear compatriots, on June 21st at half past 11 a.m. at the crossroads of Mashtot and Horenazi Street will be held a memorial ceremony at the monument of the Leonid Asgaldian as a commemoration of the day of our hero commander's death. On 15 June 2019 was published the 12th issue of the new edition of the monthly official newspaper of Western Armenia. The official newspaper will be published periodically on the beginning of each month in Western Armenian. In the near future will be published the Turkish and English versions of the newspaper. Discussions of the lower house of the Dutch parliament on the current situation in North Africa and Middle East. The chamber, after hearing the deliberation, considering that on April 24, the day of the memory of the genocide against Armenians, Turkish President Erdogan called the genocide of Armenians a meaningful and compulsory measure since the Armenian armed groups have killed the Muslims. Considering that Turkey still refuses to face its own history, considering that the second chamber recognized the genocide against Armenians and with the motion Robert adopted it unanimously has instructed the government to consistently include the recognition of the genocide against Armenians in dialogues with Turkey. Showing his objection to the recent statements by the President of Turkey, the lower house of the House of Representatives asked the government to emphasize these decisions and let the Turkish government know about it. The President and the government of Western Armenia take into consideration the resolution of the Dutch parliament condemning the state of President Erdogan, who in this declaration not only acknowledges that the Young Turks government prepared genocide but also justifies the motives of this crime. The Genocide Against Armenians Museum Institute for the first time opened a gallery where in the permanent exhibition are presented paintings of Jensen. As reported by Armand Press, the exhibition contains 20 works from the genocide series of renowned French Armenian artist Jensen Hovanes Semergen. The artist portrays the whole tragedy of genocide. It is noteworthy that most of the paintings point out actions such as deportation, violence, crime scenes, which are aimed at presenting not only the historical events that has taken place, but the hint of action illusion, mentioned culture genocide expert Hasmik Grigorian. The second torch lighting ceremony for the 7th Pan Armenian Games took place at Horvidab Monastery, located on the hills of Ararat province in Armenia. The torch was lit by Armenian Greco Roman wrestler, Olympic champion Arthur Alexanian, who addressed the attendees, saying that it is sport that unites Armenians all over the world. Dozens of residents, tourists, and guests followed the torch lighting ceremony. Traditionally, three torches are lit ahead of the games. The first flame was lit by Pan Armenian Games co-founder Armenian-American philanthropist Albert Boyajian at the Holy Mother of God Armenian Church. The torches from Horvidab and Musaler will be taken to Artsakh where the third torch will be lit in Tigranagert to symbolize the unity of Armenia, Diaspora and Artsakh. The 7th Pan-Armenian Games will take place from August 6 to 17 with the representatives from over 35 cities to compete in 17 competitions. This year the opening ceremony of the Games will take place in Stepanagert. Thanks to the silk production project, which was launched eight years ago in Tigranagert, Western Armenia, the region became the center of silk production. Ever since Ottoman era, sericulture has been active in the city of Tigranagert in the province of Kulp. Cocoons obtained from silk beetles turned into silk worms after special treatment. Then these silk threads are turned into carpets and yarns. Sericulture of Western Armenia has a long history, and these types of products are highly valued throughout the world. Now let us represent to your attention a song Derivo or Me.
You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.